Hey guys, Scott Page here to tell you about a new feature in OpenTX 2.2 that might give some people alarm when they get an SD card warning. This is letting you know that your SD card is not the same version as the OpenTX version that you have. And so what you need to do is replace the contents of your SD card with the updated version. This is how you go about doing that. You go ahead and go to opentx.org and then down near the bottom here, this is where you download Companion and this is the most recent version at the time I'm recording this. And then it tells you which SD card contents uh, would correspond to this version. And it says here, 0005. So I click on the SD card and I have a Tyrannus QX7. So there's a the version I need and I can download it. And then I can unzip it and replace the contents of my card. Now I'm certainly going to want to save some of the files that I have made that are special and I can put those onto the card after I've gone ahead and replaced it. So I have the downloaded zip file here that has the contents that I need to have on the SD card. I'm going to go ahead and unzip that. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to make a new folder. I'll put it on the desktop and I'm going to call this SD card backup. And then I'll take the contents of my SD card and copy them into that folder. I'm going to replace the contents of the SD card with those I just downloaded, but I don't need all of them. Specifically, I'm an English speaker, so I don't need the German, Spanish, French, or Italian sounds. I can go ahead and delete those. And then I just select all of these. I don't need the zip file and move over to my SD card. Now, if there's files that are on the backup that I, I want to have back onto the SD card, I can do that. For example, in my firmware, I have a couple files there. I'm just going to go ahead and move those over, copy those back. And the same with my logs. I have a bunch of logs that I want to have, but I can copy those back to the SD card. And the same with model screenshots and EEPROM. That's all, that's all fine. So once I'm done, I shouldn't get that error message anymore. One of the really neat things about the FreeSky transmitters is the ability to customize your sounds any way you want. Yeah. And this new SD card warning doesn't stop you from doing that. You can still make whatever sounds you want. However, you need to be sure that those in the system sounds correspond with what OpenTX expects. So to do that, or to check for that, there is a spreadsheet file in the system sounds when you download, and you can open that up, and that will show you what each of the sounds are and what they should be. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this spreadsheet to create your own set of sounds, and you can use different voices so that you can have a unique set for yourself. Well, that's all for today, and I hope this uh, took care of any problems you might have with the SD card warning.